Okay, and welcome back to the bench. I know, summer's here. Um, my fishing trips are over, so now I'm back on the bench. Uh, looking forward to get backing into, into my projects here. Um, one of the things that, that happened uh, over the last couple of months is uh, I was given some um, ham radio equipment and some other electronics from a silent key, a, a ham radio operator that's passed away. And one of the things that was given to me um, was a Heathkit XR2P. It's an AM, a plastic AM radio. I thought real cool, clean up the case, get it working, and just as a novelty have it around since it was his. Um, you know, lo and behold, I'm gonna go take it off the, take the camera off the uh, stand and go through this step by step. Interestingly, um, things don't always go the way you expect them to go. So with that, give me a minute. One of these days I'm gonna get some buttons to automate this, but hey, just deal with it. Okay, so here it is. Cute little Heathkit radio. Uh, I thought it'd be neat to get it cleaned up, uh, get it working, and either pass it along to somebody, put it on eBay, or just just to have it around for a while to have some fun with it. Um, so I flipped it over, figured I would put some batteries in it because it's a battery-operated radio. Flip it over, and I put batteries in it. Well, Actually, I didn't put batteries in it. I used I used my power supply here on the bench. Radio analyst. Okay. So I put power on it. It's nine volts. I didn't put the full nine volts right away, but I hooked it up, and nothing. Nothing. Okay. So what what could what could be wrong here? So I took a I took a look at it. And uh, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit here. I don't know if you can see this real well or not. Let me uh, adjust the stand. So I found a found a broken resistor. Okay, well that's pretty cool. I'll just use one of my jumpers, one of these little, uh, yeah, let me get one here. You know, these little things. And I'll just jump it, get it running, and then replace the resistor. Well, in doing that, I realized that the volume control is not the original volume control. No on off switch on the back. Okay, that's all right. I can deal with that, get it running. Find a <laughs> find another volume control, one meg with an on-off switch. All right, and I took it out because there was a wire broken off of it as well. I still couldn't get it to run. I mean, it's a six transistor radio. This is not rocket science here. All right, I got to check voltages on the on the transistors. Maybe I got a bad one. So. I took the screws out and I flipped this over and I don't know if you guys can see what I saw do you see that over here there's two resistors the bias resistors for the for the output transistors they're blown I, I mean there's just like Piece, there's nothing left there. There's just a couple wires sticking out. This is a six transistor, a nine volt radio. What the heck happened to this radio to do this kind of damage? So they're cooked. That's gone. Check the transistors. One's shorted, one's open. Capacitor, bad. Resistor, bad. Capacitor, bad. Uh, believe it or not, these two 
these two capacitors here were good, okay? All right, all right, so let me see what I can do. I, I tried getting this to, to work. I tried all kinds of jumpers and things. Uh, turns out there isn't a good transistor in the radio, not one of them. Uh, like I said, one is shorted, the others are all open. Don't know what happened to this thing, um, but it was not a simple, rep simple repair what I thought it was going to be. And to be honest with you, I thought this would be a quick one to, to put up a nice video here. Unfortunately, the transistors are germanium transistors. They're unobtainium. Um, I would get NTE transistors to replace them, but the cost of the NT, NTE transistors are like five times worth five times more than the actual radio itself. So here I am. What do I do? Do I scrap it for parts? Do I put it on eBay? I don't know. You tell me. Um, I even thought of, of converting it to silicone transistors. I, I, I just don't know. Uh, if I convert it to silicone trans silicon, I know. One time I said silicone, somebody corrected me. Just a slip of the tongue. Silicon transistors. Um, I would have to rebias everything. It's not like there's one transistor that's that's bad and you're replacing it and you're rebiasing that one transistor. I'd have to rebias the whole set. To be honest with you, I feel I'm a pretty good uh, repair tech, but I'm not an engineer. I don't know what it would take to to get this with all silicon transistors in in this radio to get it running. So that's my dilemma. I will put it back together, put all the screws back in. I'll even put the, the one meg pot. The one meg pot is good. Um, the one terminal is broken, but it can still be soldered too. Um, yeah, it's an Allen Bradley. It's a good pot too. But again, what do I do with it? You tell me. So that's the question I'm, I'm posing to everybody today. What do you think I should do um, with this radio. In the meantime, back on the RCA 3BX671, um, you can see I've got all the uh, paper caps replaced. Um, unfortunately, the, the electrolytics didn't come in yet. Um, I ordered them online and I actually had two separate orders. The one came in with all the paper caps. The electrolytic caps didn't come in. So um, I'm kind of stuck on that until they come in. And that's where I'm at with the 3BX671 at this point. Okay, so this is a short video for tonight. Um, hey, look like, subscribe, leave a comment. And I am asking this question. Um, wh what do you think I should do with the transistor radio, the heat kit? Uh, is it possible to get this thing back up and running? Um, not sure what else is bad. Uh, haven't checked out the, uh, the transformers in it yet. The output transformer and the, uh, the driver transformer. I haven't, haven't checked those out yet. I mean, that would definitely be a killer, but let me know. I'm reaching out to everybody. Uh, so again, let me know. Comments, leave a comment. Let me know what you want me to do with this or try to do with it. Um, and I'll make a series out of it, working on it. The other thing is, everybody goes down below. Please click like, subscribe. I'd like to see new subscribers coming on. And... Uh, Looking forward to getting the 3BX671 finally up and running if those capacitors ever come in. Alrighty, with that, have a good night and stay out of the heat.